Hello, poor boy, poor boy here. I just want to try, uh, try my hand at another video. Uh, let's, see, oh, let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, here's one. There we go. Kershaw Cryo. I think it was like a 2012 Knife of the Year. I'm pretty sure it was Knife of the Year 2012. Sorry about all the shaking. Like I said, I'm an amateur. It's only my third one. I stopped collecting knives 12, 15 years ago. Didn't collect them, buy any for about 10 years. Got back into it. Kept hearing about this Rat One, Ontario Rat One, Spiderco Tenacious, uh, Kershaw Cryo. You know, and uh, these are, you know, my my name isn't Poor Boy for just because uh, I like the name. Uh, I earned that title. So, uh, you know, we stick to those thirty dollar knives, forty, whatever. So, anyways. Uh, I think my wife bought it for me. Kershaw Cryo. Model 1555 TI. 1555 Titanium, I guess. Um, yeah, looking at that blade, hard to believe this thing was only carried for maybe two weeks. Um, you know, first, first feel and glance. She looks built pretty good. It's a liner lock. It's a true one hand knife. There you go. So, um, so I had to get all these uh, kind of less expensive uh, good knives. This was, like I said, knife of the year 2012. Um, I, I believe it's, uh, I, don't know, I guess it's some new fancy steel. Um, geez. B, BCR13MOV. I don't know, something I never heard of. Could be a model number or something, but I'm figuring that's 1555. TI. So, yeah, some new steel. BCR13MOV. Sounds pretty fancy. So I carried it for a couple weeks. Um, we moved. I lost some of my noise in the move. Um, and my wife was uh, cutting up some boxes out in the garage at the new place. She asked me for a knife. I pulled out my pocket, handed it to her. Fifteen minutes later, she was telling me that that knife is junk. She can't cut the boxes if I got another knife. Yeah, I, hey, I don't know. I thought I've cut everything there is to cut. You know, I, I know cardboard. I know this thing's like cardboard that will dull a blade quick. But, man, I I would have thought that uh, it would take more than 15 minutes of cutting cardboard with a something rated knife of the year. But, oh, yeah, it's dull. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to hurt myself with that too bad. So that's the frame on it. Kershaw. It's a hinderer. Hinderer design. Speed safe. Yes, it is. So anyways... There's the knife. Uh, she looks like to run roughly six and a half, six and a half inches long, maybe six and three quarter. Feels good in the hand. Um, it actually does feel decent in the hand. I, mean, I think I got a, here's another onion design here. It, uh, I don't know, it's a Ken Onion leak or something. Uh, that was a biggie, big, big seller. I sold tons of these things. Uh, the rainbow leaks, I think they were, look like uh, when you spill oil and water, rainbow color. 
Uh, you know, that, that is, uh, that was a little too small for my hand. You know, we could do a review on that one day. Matter of fact, here you go, SOG. There's another. Oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah. We'll look at those later. Those are a little small in my hand. Uh, it's got to fill my hand if it gets too, you know what, you're, you're going to cut yourself a lot easier. You're going to cut yourself way easier if it's too small to handle. So, this is what I'm saying. I carried this knife for two weeks. You know, it, it, it was okay. I only didn't have to cut anything too serious. My wife cut a little cardboard. Uh, dulling that knife right up. Uh, Kershaw is a huge company. Many, many fans. Um, but I'm going to give everything to you straight. Yeah, I don't have fancy titles. Uh, I ain't got anything too fancy. Uh, you're just going to get the truth out of me. And right now, I'm not impressed. How it made uh, 2012 Knife of the Year, I don't know. But, you know, we'll give it another chance. We'll give it another try if we have to. Uh, if, um, we'll sharpen the blade. I'll carry it around. You know, maybe, uh, maybe that much cardboard will kill any blade. I don't know. You know maybe, uh, uh, I don't know. Don't know. Don't know what my wife did with it. Looked like there was a pile of cardboard. But yeah, this is the Hinderer Design Model 1555TI. I don't know. Titanium coated. What the hell would be titanium? I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something is. Maybe it's titanium color. Maybe there's some spray. Maybe there's something in there I'm not giving them enough credit for. Um again. Kershaw, Speed Safe, Cryo, BCR 13 MOV Steel. It's got the shark fin on the back. Makes it nice, makes it nice for flipping it out right here. It's got the liner lock, it's also got a thumb stud. Christ, there we go. Um, well, but anyway, yeah. I mean, I didn't clean it up. Maybe I haven't been fair with this. I will get some lighter fluid. I'll clean the blade up, make it look like new and pretty. I'll sharpen it up, put a nice edge on it, carry it for. I'll carry it for a couple, couple weeks, couple months. Come back for another review. Um. You know, I want to give everything a fair shake. Oh, this this is really running. I'm over eight minutes. I hate min I hate any uh, reviews that last over three. I don't want to spend the time watching them. So I'm gonna close this out. Um, I may get some, you know, bad replies. I know a lot of people like the company a lot. I like the company myself. Uh, not real impressed yet. We'll uh, clean her up, sharpen her up. We'll give it another try. Until then, uh, this is Poor Boy. Again, check out our Poor Boy groups on Facebook. Poor Boy Weapons, Poor Boy R, Poor Boy Edge Weapons, Poor Boy Shotguns. And uh, we're hitting on nine minutes, so I'm going to get out of here, get out of your hair. And uh, hope you enjoy what hope you enjoy what I got to say. Let me know if you think differently. This is Poor Boy here, over and out.